So, Elia, uh, WWE returning to Germany, where they're going to be holding their first pay-per-view in the country, Bash in Berlin. Of course, a country where you really established yourself as a professional wrestler before you joined the WWE, of course, particularly with uh, WXW, uh, winning the 16 karat gold all the way back in 2017. It feels like yesterday that year, but it's apparently seven years ago. Uh, how does it feel for yourself to be a part of the, the main roster coming back to a country that you have such a significance for in professional wrestling? I tell you honestly, like this is a very, very special time for me right now. This is uh, very, very emotional. And uh, if I just look back on how much time I already spent in this business and how it all comes back together from all those places where you already have been. I mean, we have a we have a road to bash in Berlin, like in Germany, in all those cities like Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Berlin, Oberhausen, like a city that is absolutely has a place in my heart for myself. And then in the, um, we have... Bash in Berlin in the Uber Arena, like the first ever PLE in Germany. This is a super emotional time for me because I have a deep connection to all those cities. I competed in all those cities. Now I come back to all those cities as a as a raw superstar, and this is just I tell you, like life is crazy sometimes. I know it's absolutely mad. So it's a, as a, a Brit, I mean, you really enjoy all these. You know, expansion of, of PLEs coming to Europe. It's massive considering that we've been kind of starved of them for so many years now. I, I kind of mentioned that yeah. uh, big win in the Carrot Gold back in 2017. And the man that you beat to win that tournament is the man now known as Gunter. Of course, yeah. uh, you've had some titanic battles with him over the years in WWE. And of course, he's just recently back at SummerSlam became the U World Heavyweight <clears> Champion. <throat> uh, do you kind of look at what Gunther's done, the kind of road that he's went on in WWE and take that as kind of inspiration and in, in terms of, you know, those matches that you've had been in the past, is it something that you would like to, you know, resume in the near future? Because those matches are some of the best ones that this company has seen in the last five to ten years. Well, I mean, I guess there's a reason why people are still talking about those matches. Even after such a long time, we didn't see each other, me and, me and Gunther. Um, because I think... First of all, those matches really laid like the, the standard for for what the European talent is is able to do, <clears throat> and of course, I pay attention to his work. I mean, like he's still. I already said it like a couple of times in, in other interviews that um, as much as he is a rival for me, as much he also made me the person that I am today and the performer that I am today, and. Uh, and the reason why I am at a, such a high level in what I do is definitely him, because you always need like somebody who pushes you like really, really to the to your limit, so you can actually realize where that is, and you can focus on how you can get better. And you always need that kind of person where you know, okay, I I want to be as good as you, I want to get better as you, and I think this is a kind of tension that people that just drives people to want to see more and that's what i think because people talking about this because people want to see more of that and there's a reason why he is the world heavyweight champion yeah he is quite the competitor he is actually you know blazed the trail over the his time in the company uh but it was those matches i mentioned to you kind of because from something in the uk i kind of seen your work you know in you know, <clears throat> germany and you obviously wrestled in the uk and england a lot of the time but it was those matches with Gunther that really put you on the mat. And then it, uh, you got the NXT UK Championship and then you eventually transitioned over to NXT. But I think it's fair to say over the two or so years that you were on main NXT, many people would describe you as kind of the, the workhorse of that brand. You know, for the, you would go on to a, an NXT PLE and people would say that that match is going to steal the show even before you became the champion uh, uh, back in 2023. Is that something you take pride in? Because at that point, NXT had kind of... It wasn't the black and gold that had been previously. It was becoming a lot more mixed with the kind of sports entertainment stuff that we see in the main roster. Do you take pride in the fact that everybody's seen you as the kind of match to watch all the time on all these big shows? I mean, at the end of the day, as a performer, <clears throat> we all have different, different strength. And uh, something I always did in my whole career was just relying on my strength because I, I knew the only competition that I have is only myself. And I have only a certain thing that I can offer. And if I can offer that and if I can offer my strength and maximize those, 
like because you're talking about the like the term of workhorse i don't even know how to not do that like i this is just natural to me to go in and just just give everything i have because i don't know anything else that's that's something like is natural to me or this is something that i trained and developed over the years this just to give everything i have and um to to have this kind of reputation after my work uh, in NXT is 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 a big compliment to me because I just do what I love. I love I love this business. I love to go in and just leave everything there and just fall into my bed, super exhausted, and just get up the next day to do it again. That's the reason why I'm here. That's also the reason why I'm right now at this stage of my career where I really like made it to let's say the the champions league of professional wrestling yeah and a, a man who was a a big part of then and currently in nxt of course is sean michaels who's doing who's pretty much running that uh part of wwe at the moment was, how big an influence has he been in your career working with a, a legend such as hbk i mean of course that's a that's a huge influence i um always get always had a good relationship with him and we uh, had a lot of thoughts, of thought processes where we always have been on the, on the same point, and just get to the, to get this feedback, and then get this um, how do you say it? Just to know that your ideas are are going into the right direction. It was always a very good feeling communicating with him, and I really really enjoyed the time just working working with him together for for like a year or year or two, and just to have this belief in my person that. The stuff that I do, uh, and the way I I behave myself in the ring, and the um just the persona that I present, that that the people get the idea, and that 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 it just works. It just works. You just get the right, the right mindset behind it. If you don't understand what I mean. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, it's always helped to be able to bounce that type of thing off of somebody. And uh, yeah. In terms of uh, wrestling in the WWE, I don't think there's many people that you could find that's a better person to do that with than, you know, Shawn Michaels for all the, the expertise that he's had over the, you know, three decades he's been involved. Uh, yeah, absolutely, and he was so influential, <clears throat> like one of one of the greatest of all time. And, and the the person like this sees your work and sees something in it and push uh, and puts you in a certain direction, then you you can just go home and know that well. What you do is not entirely wrong, I guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And you could kind of tell, you know, how much you kind of enjoyed working. You could see kind of his reaction the night that you were drafted up to Raw uh, earlier in the year. Uh, and that's what you've obviously now been on the main roster on Raw for about four or five months now. You've been involved in a lot of prominent feuds, uh, and particularly recently with the likes of Braun Breaker, who you worked with a lot in NXT. Uh, how... Yeah. First of all, have you found the transition going from NXT to the main roster? And second of all, what would you say would be your goals, you know, on Raw or even, you know, SmackDown? You never know what could happen over the next uh, 12 or so months. I think the transition was just like everything just gets bigger, you know? Like, first of all, for me, it always feels like, yeah, uh, the job stays the same, but the environment changes. So that's what I mean when I say just everything gets bigger. You just got all those big arenas. Uh, it is a bit... Of course, bigger com than compared to to NXT. Before that, you really realize that, just audience wise. But the job stays the same. Yeah? I mean, it's a differently a higher pressure level because you know this is like the top of the top of the top, and now you gotta really step up your game even more, and um, just get along with with the pressure. But this is something that I, to be honest, like I'm really not that concerned about, but because I'm very sure about and very confident about my skills and about my will to evolve and to progress and to really become my best version <clears throat> in the main roster and yeah just 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 to take a step back and to realize like back from the indies where you sometimes just wrestle like in front of 20 people to every week see those arenas filled with people and those amount this amount of audience just how huge this wwe universe is it's just every time amazing to see it it's definitely fills up my energy levels every single time 
Excellent, that's what we love to hear. Now, uh, f finally, Ailia, at the time that we are speaking here, you're currently not booked for a match on the big PLE in Berlin. Uh, if Obviously, if you had the choice of anybody currently on the roster that you could face on that particular show, who would it be and why? <laughs> I think that probably the answer that everybody is ex expecting is obviously the world heavyweight champion, like Gunter. But I think for for a great for a great story for such a great rivalry that we have and there's so much expectation that people have towards it, it probably takes a longer time to get to something like this. In my opinion, I I still would have uh, like like say some some revenge to take on Braun Breaker. That would be a, a, another thing that will I would go into the direction to. Also because, like, just look at the performances that Braun and me had. Like, people were excited every single time, and you just see why we are those kind of guys who are now where we are in the main roster. And you see, all respect to Braun, this this person is, is an absolute animal and, and inter, the Intercontinental Champion for a reason. This will be another name, the first two names that come up to my mind. Of course, so he's got. He's obviously got that IC title now, as you mentioned, which would add a bit of more of an incentive to it. And you know, people are talking about on SmackDown. You've got uh, Camelo Hayes and Andrade seem to be wrestling every week and be those kind of, you know, consistent p parts of the brand. Yeah. You know, the same with you and Braun and Ron. You know, that gives somebody something for everybody to watch every week as well. With the post the pay per view, and I think that would you know steal any arena that you've been involved in. I'm absolutely sure about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Well, that's everything for me. Oh, yeah. I mean, all the best. And obviously, I hope Germany goes well. You know, as, as you mentioned, it's, they love you over there. And, you know, I hope it goes well. Thank you very much.